Jarnell, congrats on the win, man. Uh, talk to me about that one. It's not, it's not very often that you see, uh, you know, two guys that aren't on the Bellator roster full, long term being paired up against each other. So it seemed like there's a lot riding on that fight. Um, yeah, they told me uh, if I win this fight, I would uh, be able to get a contract, uh, a, a fight deal with Bellator. So I wanted to go in there and get the finish, but I wasn't able to get the finish. So I had to make the adjustments. I had a different game plan. In the third round, I had to go in there and show you guys what I do so much training for and be able to switch up my, my, my tactic mid-fight, something that we didn't plan to do. So uh, it's safe to say you, know, you were in the contract with that one, is basically what you're saying? Yes, yeah, so, um, I'm pretty sure I should be getting the contract with that performance. I mean, I think I deserve one. I'm 5-0 and now, so I think I deserve one. And, and how much does that excite you, man? Like, you know, competing on the regional scene training, and now you're finally with a major promotion. Man, just think about training your entire life just so that you could do this for a living. Um, it's definitely a dope, it's dope for me, and I, I'm really glad I was able to go in there and completely just switch up the game plan. Sometimes people tell me you shouldn't go in there with a plan, and I know I keep going off topic, but it's, it's on my mind right now. But people tell me you shouldn't go in there with a game plan, and I shouldn't. I usually tend to always go with a game plan, but it's actually really good to be able to, to veer off the game plan and do something different, which is what I did in the third round. It's completely not part of the plan, but I was able to go in there and make that adjustment. What do you think that says about the evolution of you as a fighter, that maybe a couple of fights ago you wouldn't have been able to do something like that? Exactly, yes, exactly. Who knows even a couple of fights? Maybe, maybe not even my last fight. I don't know. I, get, I try to get better every single fight, but I'm just so happy I was able to switch it up. I mean, if you, see, if you watch the third round compared to the first and second, completely different people, you know? So I'm, I'm so happy I'm able to do that, and that's what's going to make me thrive in the sport, being able to do things like that. And I know you've fought here before, and you've fought here again tonight, but now that you're here here, what should fans expect to see out of you now that you're, you're a full-time Bellator fighter? Everything, everything. I didn't get to showcase my grappling tonight, but I definitely can grapple. Um, you should expect to see me be able to stand, grapple, and um, to be honest, I exceeded my own expectations in the stand-up. Sometimes I think, oh, this guy's a stand-up guy. I'm usually the stand-up guy, but I think I can't stand with anybody. And I was able to prove that, you know what? I'm going to switch my game plan and do something I wasn't even planning on doing and do it better than him. And that was his plan the whole time, you know? So I think that's going to show people I can really do it all. Uh, congrats on the win, A1. Um, you know, there's a shark tank in this division right now, like we uh, talked about. So, but does a fight with Keith Lee sound realistic for your next fight? Um, he's actually he's booked to fight next week. So, um, I guess depending on what happens with that fight, I'm willing to, I'm willing to fight them all. You know, I definitely want to keep growing. I'm only five and zero. I have a lot I still have to work on. But I'm definitely I have my eyes on all of these guys from Juan Archuleta, Patchy Mix, James Gallagher, um, Keith Lee, Stotson, um, Leandro Higo. Um, Dudu Dantes, every single one of them. I watched all of them, I watched tape on them, and I even have my eyes on all the regional guys from CES, CFFC, LFA. Um, I'm watching everyone, man, and I'm continuing to develop my strategies so that way I can beat all of them. Mm -hmm. And who, who would you say that has, like, is the toughest challenge for you in the division? The title holder, Juan Archuleta. He's able, to, he's able to mix it up real well. He can grapple, he can stand, he's confident. You know, you, you can tell he works really hard. A lot of these guys are one-dimensional. He can do it all. I can do it all. But I have a lot I have to work on to make sure I'm ready when the time comes. Simon. Uh, congratulations on the win, Jarnell. I just want to know here, based on the opponent that you were given for this, this contract fight, for lack of a better word, was this the biggest win of your career? Oh, for sure. I mean, every, every fight is the biggest win of my career, from my debut to my first Bellator fight. Now this fight, obviously, because everything was riding on this, you know, if I, if I win this, I get a contract, so it was super important to me. And I'm just real glad I was able to just be calm and be composed. You know, some people, if something's not going the way, they might panic. Oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. But I just drew back on my training, and I said, you know what? In training, if I got tired or in training, if something didn't go right, I'm able to switch my strategy. So I was able to stay calm and switch up the game plan midway through. So I'm so happy about that. And you're fighting these guys with undefeated records, I guess we could say. How, how does it feel taking that O away from the record? Man, it's crazy, man. Um, you know, me and my friends, we really don't believe in, in records. You know, uh, a lot of people have records, but they fought a lot of, a lot of people that are not good. Or they, they have a bad record, but they lost to some great fighters. So you can't put too much stock in records. I wouldn't even say 4-0 or 5-0 and 0 is undefeated, to be honest. It's only four fights. I mean, that's one, two, three, four. It's not really undefeated. I would say... 8-0, 10-0, then you start being undefeated. But right now, I haven't fought that much, or he hasn't fought that much. But, you know, um, it does feel good to be able to go in there and prove that records don't mean anything. 
Hey, Cornell, how's it going? Congratulations on a great victory. You mentioned that you wanted to, to stand out, you were looking for the finish. Unfortunately, that wasn't going to happen tonight, but you did. You looked the part, you came in, you were flashy, you were uh, exciting for, for the fans. Did you feel like that was important for, uh, for getting Bellator kind of to, to, to grab their attention and, and make sure you, know, you, had, you had the, the walkout outfit, you, know, you, you looked great, you were, everything was, was going on. Was that important for attracting um, the eyes of the matchmakers and the people with the, the checkbooks of Bellator? Yeah, of course. I try to do everything. I try to do the, the walkout, the look, the, the photo shoot. I try to be exciting all across the board. Um, I definitely wanted to go in there and get that stoppage. I wasn't able to get it, but um, I try to stay calm, cool, and collected because at the end of the day, the most important thing is to get the victory. You can pretty much do whatever you want as long as you win, but if you're losing all the time, you almost can't do anything. So I try my best to do the walkout good, to do the fight good. Um, I'm, I'm at the press conference. I'm, I try my best to do everything well. That way I could impress the people that are going to be paying my, paying my bills eventually. Bro, this bantamweight division is crazy at the moment in Bellator. Probably the best bantamweight division in the sport. Uh, you, is there anyone in particular you're, you're thinking, no, I wouldn't mind mixing it up with these guys? Uh, no, no one in particular at the moment. You know, I just want to enjoy this victory right here. But I'm definitely going to eventually have to fight every single one of these guys. Like I said before, I, I still want to build and get better and keep growing at my craft. I'm only 24 years old, but I can, I, I promise you, I can do everything. I can stand, I can grapple. I wanted to showcase my grappling tonight. I wasn't able to, but I can grapple. I can defend myself on the bottom. I have good defense. I was born defensive. Um, have you seen the things that he was swinging at me? I, I could see him from a mile away. That's why I was able to make that adjustments. But um, I got a lot to prove, man, but I have a lot of work to do as well. Hey, Jonell, it's uh, Keith Schillen, your boy from Sure Dog. Uh, Jonell, I want to talk, well, actually, I want to back up. I want to echo what the last guy was just saying. The only thing better than your performance indicates is that robe, my man. You're looking good. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I want to talk about your last fight in Bellator. You went against John Drew, but you really flashed your stand up in that one. And this one, you came out really wrestling head in the beginning. Was that really important to show that, you know, you're well rounded that you can out wrestle guys? Yeah, it was really important. I wanted to go in there and show everybody that I can grapple. Like, I can really grapple. Um, and I thought tonight was the perfect night going against a stand-up guy. But he's coming down from 45. He's a big guy. I got him against the cage. I'm like, uh, I, thought, I'm, I think I'm able to get him down. But you know what? If I can't get him down, to be honest, the, the things that I picked up on as soon as the fight began was that I could see the punches coming from a mile away. So I'm like, I picked up on those things, but I said, I'm not going to veer away from the game plan. The game plan is take him down and finish him. But because I wasn't able to take him down and finish him, and the third, I said, okay, I got to change something. I'm not, I'm not able to take him down. So you know what? The things that I thought about in the first and the second, the fact that I could see him coming from a mile away, the leg kicks are open, everything is clear and open, I said, I'm just going to go down that path because this path is clearly not available. Um, so that's what's really important to me tonight to show that I can do it all. Um, sadly, I wasn't able to take him to the ground, but if you saw last time, I, uh, I was able to prove to everybody that John Duma wasn't on my level, and tonight I did the same thing. I tried to prove that I, he was, couldn't grapple with me, but in the third, I proved he couldn't stand with me either. And he's a stand-up guy, pure stand-up. Uh, last thing I want to ask you about, my man, is in the, uh, in the uh, third round, you came out, you completely switched up, as you said. Uh, you were very elusive, you were switching stances, you were like, kind of freezing them with the stance switches. Um, you even, you were kind of English, you even started doing like a modified Philly shell going on. So, I mean, you're extremely technical in the stand-up. Just give me a grade, if you, you know, just on your stand-up in the third, what would you give it? Like an A, a B, what would you give it? Um, I would say, to be honest, I think I did a good job based on what I was, you know, based on the situation. Because I was going in there and I wasn't planning on using it, obviously, it, it wasn't as polished as it could be. It was probably a B minus because I can do that a lot better if it was the game plan. But because it wasn't the game plan, I had to pretty much pull the trick out of the hat, you know, pull the rabbit out of the hat and say, you know what, I'm going to go down this path. But obviously, let's say if I'm doing a, a thousand arm bars a day, my arm bar is going to be very sharp. I do work my stand-up a lot, but because it wasn't the exact game plan and I wasn't really focusing on it, that was just something that I always have in my bag that if I want to, I can, I can pull out. So I'm happy with it, but I, I can do that a lot better. Congratulations, man. Thank you.